today we are going to discuss about kaplan turbine this one is the hydropower plant and here this one is the turbine and this one is the kaplan turbine so this one is the runner of the kaplan turbine this one is the kaplan turbine that is attached with the generator the kaplan turbine is a reaction type water turbine which has adjustable blades here you can see it was developed in 1913 by austrian professor victor kaplan who combined automatically adjusted propeller blades with automatically adjustable wicket gates this is the wicket gates to achieve efficiency over a wide range of flow and water level that means head the kaplan turbine was in evolution of the francis turbine its invention allow efficient power production in low head applications which was not possible with the francis turbine so in short we can say kaplan turbine is the improvement of the francis turbine next kaplan turbine is now widely used throughout the world for high flow and low head power production since it is a reaction turbine the reaction force of leaving the water is used to turn the runner of kaplan turbine as the water flows through the twisted blades these are the twisted blades a leap force is generated in the opposite direction of the leaving water and that leap force causes the blade to rotate it is an axial flow turbine which means that the flow direction does not change as it crosses the rotor so axial means in this direction parallel to the axis of the shaft this figure is used for the examination a kaplan turbine consists of the following major parts and stop here you can see this one is the pan stop spiral casing this one is the spiral casing stay vents here you can see the first one yellow color is the stay vents then guide vents this blue color is a guide vent here you can see these are the guide vents then runner and runner blades these are the runner blades here you can see purple color is the runner blades and last one is the draft tube so let's start brief discussion of all these parts one by one first pine stock so this is the pine stock in the hydro power plant pine stock is a pipe which take water from the dam that means water is here and take it to the turbine at very high speed this is the pine stock next part spiral casing so here you can see this one is the spiral casing the runner is completely enclosed in an air tight spiral casing the casing and runner are always full of water this is the runner and this one is the casing it is always full of water the scroll casing is a spiral type of casing that decreases uniformly the cross section area to maintain the velocity first the water from the pen stock enters the scroll casing and then moves to the guide vents here this one is the guide vent next third part stay vents so here you can see this one is the stay vent and this one is the guide vent and here also you can see the blue color is the stay vent purple color is the guide vent or you can say guide ring and this one is the runner blade these guides the water to the runner blades stay vents remain stationary at their position and reduces the swirling of the water due to the radial flow as it enters the runner blades 
and make the turbine more efficient. Next part, guide vanes. Here you can see these are the guide vanes. Guide vanes are present between scroll casing and the runner. They are used to direct the water to the runner blades smoothly by decreasing its swirl velocity. Next, if guide vanes are absent, then the turbine cannot work efficiently and its efficiency decreases. From the guide vanes, that means this one, the water turns through 90 degree and flows axially through the runner blades. The guide vane is adjustable in Kaplan turbine, so its opening and closing depend upon the demand of power requirement. So here you can see guide vanes and also here you can see this is controlled by this mechanism. In case of more power requirement, it opens wider to allow more water to hit the blades of the rotor and when low power requires, it closes itself, here you can see it closes itself to decrease the flow of water. Next, runner and runner blades. These are the runner blades and this one is the runner. Runner blades are the blades that are rotated by the flow of water. The blades of the Kaplan turbine have twist along its length for optimum angle of strike for all cross section of blades and hence to achieve greater efficiency of the turbine. So here you can see this one is for the low flow and this one is for the high flow. So these are the different position of these runner blades. The blades of the runner is adjustable to an optimum angle of attack for maximum power output. Next, draft tube. Here you can see draft tube. This one is the draft tube and here this one is the draft tube. Draft tube is a pipe of gradually increasing area which is used for discharging water from the turbine to the tail race. From the turbine to the tail race. At the exit of the runner, the pressure available is generally less than atmospheric pressure. So, main function of the draft tube is to increase the water pressure by compromising velocity at the time of discharge. One end of the draft tube is connected to the runner and the other end is submerged below the tail race level. Next, working of Kaplan turbine. Water is allowed to enter into the spiral casing which guides the water through the stay vents, here you can see, and guide vents. The stay vents being stationary at their place removes the swirl and try to make the flow of water more linear. Then water is directed tangentially through the wicket gates and strikes onto a propeller shaped runner, here you can see, causing it to spin. Next, from the runner, the water enters into the draft tube, where remaining kinetic energy is converted into pressure energy and hence increases the pressure of water. Further, rotation of the turbine is used to rotate the shaft of a generator here you can see and hence it generates the electricity. Advantages of Kaplan turbine. This turbine works more efficiently at low water rate and high flow rate as compared with the other turbines. This is smaller in size therefore the space requirement is less. Kaplan turbine has less resistances to be overcome because it has only 3 to 8 blades. Kaplan turbine runner vents are adjustable, here you can see, so that we can get maximum power output. Next, disadvantages of Kaplan turbine. The position of the shaft is only 
in the vertical direction. A large flow rate must be required to run the turbine. The main disadvantage is the cavitation process which occurs due to the pressure drop in the draft tube. These are the draft tube. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.